big dog status, Bill Hubble. I bought Lennox Mall for my brothers. Go yard bag, told the cutter. I got it out the field, fuck Russell. Going ass Lori about the paddock, then going ass Joy and ass dead. Felipe Water trying to drown a bitch. That's a habit trip. I'm a bitch. Shit, I'm thinking I'm cribbing a pimp. Shit, I'm cooking up dope like it's done. You seen the top of the video, your girl is back again with another vlog. If you know my channel, hey girl, hey, and if you're a returning subscriber, I don't even have to say anything because you know what's up, I know what's up, we know what's up, and that's on what, that's on what, that's on period. And Mary had a little lamb, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, your girl is going on vacation again. We have another travel babes trip, y'all, and my background is looking atrocious because I'm literally going through it. I'm trying on my clothes, I'm packing my travel babe stuff. Um, y'all, it's going on six o'clock. Nails are not done yet. Feet crusty. Um, I just got done with my hair. It took me all day yesterday and half of today to finish my hair. That's why I'm not packed. Although I knew this trip was coming up, y'all, but I do this to myself every single time. So I just want to go ahead and hop on camera now to say what's up to y'all, just simply because I leave out, I think my flight departs at like 6 a.m. And then um, I have to be up at 2 a.m. to make it to the airport by 3 a.m. And I already know I'm not gonna feel like hopping on camera in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hop on here now and open up the vlog. Like, I know I go on these trips every month, but this one, this is my first time going to Punta Cana, y'all, and it's spring break. And we got a very um, fun itinerary, so I'm excited. Like, I feel like we're about to have a time. I've been, y'all, you know, I've been running off excitement all day today. Kana, ah, Punta Kana, ah, Punta Kana, ah, we going on a trip in a little fucking shit. Punta Kana, y'all, Punta Kana, we going on a trip in a little but yeah, stay tuned. I'll check in with y'all when I get to the airport in the morning. Just because you know I can. That's why I just landed. You nigga can't compete, I swear. Get trapped now, you do it too baby. Hey y'all, so I am finally in the rental. And girl, it's always something at the airport. So typically, y'all know when you rent cars, cars on Expedia, there's always something like either the car gets canceled, they don't have the car, they give you a completely different car, they charge you different rates, they add insurance, it's literally always something. But this time, they didn't have our car. I booked the car through, um, I think it was called National, like through Expedia, it was like, um, rent a car national and then they called us like a few hours before we left and they're like we don't have y'all car but Hertz has y'all car so they transfer everything over to Hertz they got that taken care of for taken care of for us and then after that I keep getting a call somebody's literally blowing my phone up but it's a number that I'm not familiar with so I'm not picking it up and I also just found out that my phone plan does not work in Zucana and I got Verizon y'all so I finally checked my text messages and they're like, hi, are you um, Asia? We have your bag. And I'm like, no, I looked at my bag. I'm like, no, I have my bag. And then they keep calling, they're adamant about it. They're adamant, we have your bag, we have your bag. So I look at the bag again. I'm like, let me just make sure, cause y'all know I have, where's my bag? This is my bag. I have a very distinctive bag, a Bexy Johnson bag with hearts all over it. So I'm like, I've never seen this bag before. That's the reason why I got the bag because I'm like, no one's gonna have my bag. Y'all, tell me not. I looked on my um my contact card and it was blank. So they indeed had my bag. So I went back to go get the bag. I'm literally apologizing, telling them like, oh, I'm so sorry. Because y'all, two hours pretty much passed by and this girl thought that her bag was lost. Immediately she pulls up and I'm apologizing. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She snatches her bag from me. She's like, no, don't go anywhere. Let me open this up. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? I didn't open your bag. Like, why would I open your bag? She's like, no, I don't know. I don't know. So she opened her bag, looking at her stuff. And I just walked away and left. Um, but that was pretty much that. Um, now I'm on the way to my, I think I booked a condo. I'm on the way to the um, condo that I'm staying in for one night. And the rest of the girls get here tomorrow. Today I'm probably just going to grab a bite, probably go to the beach just to get some content. 
and then that'll pretty much be it i'm not going to do too much today but i can already tell putakana is a vibe just by like how the energy the people at the airport like the people have been very friendly here um the weather is a complete opposite of what it's given in houston right now so it's just giving good vibes the um car is nice i'm here with the driver Gustan, and yeah i love it but i will check in with you guys once I don't know once I get to the um the Airbnb. Good morning, y'all. Today is officially day one in Putacata. I'm currently at the beach right now. I'm about to head back to my Airbnb and pack my stuff and then head to the airport to get the girls. And y'all, look how beautiful it is out here. now we're about to get ready and get something this is weird why are y'all looking at me we at the airport now we're about to get something to eat and then we're about to head to walmart to get liquor and snacks and stuff and then we're about to head to the house but yeah all the girls are here y'all you're not that girl but you drink wine I'm really i love wine wine is the best drug no it really is oh, <laughs> it feels good you man yeah for real the staff is telling her that too Oh, I am at the house right now. I'm currently setting up one of the travel babe kits. Y'all, excuse me if I'm breathing hard in the camera. Your girl is tired. Travel babe shirt. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. Let me set this up. Okay. So. We have the four day itinerary, Casamigo, boom, 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 period, and travel babe shirt. This her room. This is your room, oh, dear. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, I didn't. Yeah, it's her room. Oh, <laughs> Y'all, we are in Punta Cana. And I'm finally settled in. I'm going to give y'all, y'all probably should have seen it on the last clip. I'm going to give y'all a little room tour of the place. I absolutely love it. I was a little scared at first because I got a really good deal on this spot. But y'all, I honestly cannot complain. Like this room is second to the room in Guatemala, which is like literally my favorite my favorite villa that's why i keep going back somebody comments on one of my videos and they was like girl give guatemala a break how many times have you been to antigua and i'm like i ain't never gonna stop going to antigua baby because when i say it is cheap and the hospitality is on point it's cheap and the hospitality is like so superb y'all but i'm finally in my room i'm about to go ahead and unpack my bags i really want to soak into this trip so i think i'm gonna actually unpack everything put it in my closet and then 
after that we're getting ready for dinner and then after dinner we have our pool night game night but i'm excited because like i said this is like my first time well let me not be dramatic it's not my first time going on vacation y'all but this is my first time going to a new country in a long time the last six months i've been going to countries that i've been to before so this trip it hits different like mama need this trip and i don't know why my camera quality okay sorry about that y'all it's crazy i forgot to bring my heroes i forgot so much like i overpacked and i still end up forgetting stuff that's why overpacking is the only way but like i said y'all i'm about to get ready and unpack my luggage and i'll check in with y'all once we get ready to eat dinner There's
I just got done eating breakfast and I'm doing a voiceover because I do not want to get copyrighted. They're playing music in the background. I just came on camera to show y'all my OOTD. We're about to get ready and have our all brown photo shoot. And this is what your girl is wearing. So I know my shoes do not go with the look y'all, but for some reason my gold heels did not make it in my bag. So this is what your girl is working with. So we did a photo shoot right before we headed out for our excursion. And this is a little behind the scenes. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I call and they drop the love. Cause I got hoes. Got a nigga, yeah, he's on the trap. He low key, yeah, he stay off the mail. Anytime I need some money, he said pull up, cause it gotta be cash. Pushed up, he was on it, damn. He like, bae, you ain't never around. When nigga, I gotta put up in the dirt, cause why you ain't never in town? I'm out of the way with Pablo. This nigga square that. Hey y'all, so currently, well, we just got done taking photos. Now we're about to go ahead and head out for our first excursion for today. But y'all know I wanted to give y'all a little outfit of, um, outfit of a mini. Okay, so we're doing ATV. Well, I guess it's not ATV. It's like a buggy tour, which is similar to ATV, but we're also doing like water activities. So I wore my swimsuit underneath this. So I have this black swimsuit top. I believe I got this from Shein, and I ordered the plus size. I ordered an extra, extra, extra large. And y'all, I'm a triple, triple D, and this fits me pretty well for all my big booby girls. So yeah, go over to Shein, hit up their plus size, and get an extra, extra, extra large, and it's gonna have you covered. And then this top, I believe I got this sent to me by Tim Mo or Tim Yu, a little Jamaica top. Um, jeans from Fashion Nova, stretchy pants, and then I got this purse. I think this was sent to me by Shein. Shein. Yeah, and then I'm wearing my um, my dunks. So yeah, that's what it's giving we're giving jamaican vibes and food to come out how does hell here y'all but yeah i will check in with you guys on the way to the tour i literally have dry skin showing up underneath my makeup <laughs> uh hola is somebody in the front seat already no, it's oh so what's going on uh -huh. seat. yeah seat. oh this your seat <laughs> yeah i'm waiting for are you fine? Yeah. yeah. Willie? See, he said Willie. I'm there for make sure you get a great time, fun excursion. It's right. Be safe. I got a drive. What you need? Hey, show people. Hold on, let me use your towel. The cover. Damn, he's doing this shit tight. Is it? I'm gonna need some So y'all, we just ahead, finally got to the buggy tour and we gonna see if Rose already. I got this bright ass yellow shirt on and look how dirty this stuff is. Should have really wore something that was just throw away. Your shoes about to get so dirty and they're said. white. I'm gonna put them in the, in the dryer. So Girl, that it don't ever come back the same after they get dirty. Mm -mm. But... I'm ready. You're about to take a point. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Y'all, I'm with two baddies right now. You know what it is. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at, but it just got my mouth watered. You seen two of them. 
Whatever he was looking at. He forgot the other two. My bad. Yo, what's up, man? What's up? Stop playing with them, bro. They out here. You know what I mean? Now you shout your company out. Shout for your shout your company out. You know what's good? Shout your company out. Dreams come true for beautiful ladies. You know that's that's the business. That's the dreams come true. That's the that's the business. The tour, you know, we touring. You got beats Y'all, we just here. got to the okay. beach right now. Uh, you got two minutes here. And, you want me to take a photo of you on your phone, okay. Amina? Huh? You want a photo? Oh, oh he's going to take it off. He's going to take it I thought you knew the rodeo. $10. How much you pay so $1,000. $1,000. Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see if I have it. Let me see if I have it. Oh, no. <laughs> he about to take my glasses. Let me see if I have it first, because I don't know if I have any more. So, because I don't want I'm scared of parents. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them. I don't, I don't like birds. I'm allergic to birds. I already got some. She don't have any money. How much? How much? Tell them your um YouTube. You can follow me at Divine Girl Ashley. I will post a little inspiration. No, I know your comment, the name. Yes, you subscribed to me See? like years ago before you even started this, girl. I don't. I, I was subscribed to you when you hid your subscribers. I didn't hide them. Yes, you did. I hid them. Yes. Oh, they do used to. You used to do that. <laughs> Is that a bad thing? No. I feel like you people don't want to support you no, when you, you don't. Mm -hmm. when companies don't want to support you when they feel like you don't have a lot of subscribers. Are we even oh, how much? I'm about to start asking him how much an empanada is. <laughs> Me either. Hola, what is that? An empanada? Um, chicken or beef? Chicken, chicken. How much? Three dollars. the buggy tour i personally that was my first time doing a buggy tour i didn't like the buggy part of it i actually got lucky because my buggy broke down um and they ended up giving me an ashley at atv so it mm, chef kiss it made my tour a little better but i would give it like a seven out of ten um if y'all do do it all the companies are pretty much um the same i'm sure they take you to the same um spot I don't know it kind of just gives me like a tourist vibe like every five minutes they trying to sell you something they selling pina coladas and coconuts for like i think twenty dollars thirty dollars on the beach 
um they sell in um basically y'all they sell in everything three four times the price and every stop that we did they are trying to make you buy something like some man dusts my feet off and then he turns around and be like pay 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 i ain't asked you to dust my feet off and then another thing if they give you an animal they had like monkeys out there um parrots out there they'll put it on you and then you'll start taking pictures and after that they're gonna ask you to pay so be careful when you come out here because they want money for everything nothing they're not doing nothing for free if they pour water on you because you got dirt in your eye after that baby when you can see they're gonna be looking for you to pay so other than that i did enjoy my tour but i wouldn't do a buggy tour again it's just not my vibe i'm an atv girl um i don't know i just wouldn't do it but right now we're getting ready to um go to dinner we're going to s b and g which i'm excited for because there were views y'all if it's echoing let me open this i feel like it's echoing here echoing on here so bad but um it feels so nice out here oh who dog but i wonder if they can see me showering for real but basically we're getting ready to go to dinner at sbg and this is like one of the top places that was rated on TripAdvisor, so i'm excited for that um yeah so i will check in with you guys once i get done getting ready for dinner we're gonna pre-game and then we're gonna hit drink point after that even though i got like mixed reviews about it but we're gonna check it out y'all because i like going to like i don't know i don't like going to touristy places i like hanging with the locals so we're gonna see oh these bugs are everywhere i'm gonna check in with y'all in a little bit i ain't say nothing about id i came out before you give my money um i ain't say nothing about id just bring your ID just in case, but. Was it, is it in 50? Do you remember when it comes to the section? Oh, oh I don't think you, we grown, but just bring your ID just in case. But I don't think this is, this is the one. I think this is the more chill spot. I think it's in Yeah, so just bring it just in case though, because I don't know how they do. Yeah, okay, we can go get my ID. Yeah. Okay, all right, y'all. But I just got done getting ready, as y'all can see the bathroom is a mess like everything is a mess but yeah we're getting ready to go to sbj and something point what is it called drink point um tonight and this is what the look is giving where's my purse oh my purse is out there y'all but real cute just a little simple beach wear um i think this whole outfit came from i want to say fashion nova this is just the black swimsuit top that i told you that they sent me Thank you for letting me out. I'm gonna get there early though. Smile. It's the video. You not in it, Nuno. Where you at? Where you Nuno. Oh, oh, you can't go with it. Oh, it's in there. Woo, let me just let me go with this. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. Okay. And I think about you all day, mommy I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy Say what's on your mind, oh, I'ma call I'm away, I'm mommy I'm Come on, man, me. rescue me Whoa. Take me out the club, take me out the trap Take me off the market, take me off the map I'm tryna hit the group chat and tell them it's a come, man Take me off the market, take me off the map Tryna hit the group chat and sell them I don't really know how to confess my love Really sing like I wanna test my love For you who don't know how to express my love That's why I'm American and spread Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I can do. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. Well, I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me. But they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be. But deep down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a
As you can see, your girl is done. Hold on, how are you turning this down? As you can see, your girl is your girl is done. But Drake Queen, we survived. They played Americana music. I had a good time there. Everyone swear. Drake Queen, Drake Queen, Drake Queen, Drake Queen, Drake Queen, Drake Queen, Y'all, it's my first time trying, I can't even speak. It's my first time trying to speak this morning and realizing I do not have my voice. But as y'all can see, today is day three of the girls' trip. This is our last final day. And this day is supposed to be a little busier than yesterday because we have our yacht excursion. And I don't have no voice. Like, I do this every time to myself, y'all. When I get lit, I just be yelling for no reason. Um, but I did want to give y'all a recap of the place that we had dinner last night. We ate at SPG. The food was really, really good. Like I said, a lot of people recommend going there, but the service and the hospitality was piss poor. Like we got there and within the first, I want to say within the first 20 minutes or so, we had to ask them to bring our drinks, like our server to even come and greet us. After that... Um, he took our orders. We were ready to go ahead and order our entree and our drinks and stuff. He went around, took everybody's drinks. He left for like 30, 40 minutes. Then he came back to take our um, entree. And then he left and came back maybe 30 minutes later just to tell me that they didn't have my steak in. He told um, Amina they didn't have something of hers. He told... Gabby, they didn't have something of hers. It's like, if you put the order in, when we asked for it, how are you just not finding out they don't have our food? So that happens. The food finally comes after two hours of us being there. Um, mind you, the server didn't come and check on us, didn't fill any water up, and it's supposed to be considered like fine dining, but the experience was not given fine dining at all. So finally, um, all the food comes he forgets one person's food and the keto food comes out like maybe 10 minutes after our food like he's bringing the food out at different times after we already waited two hours and then after that y'all he took an additional 10 minutes to bring the checks out i personally would not recommend it if you're an impatient person or if you're hungry don't go there but if you can like i don't know if you if you want aesthetics the place was very cute up to par it's big in there ac work it's a nice vibe in there but a girl, if you're hungry, I would not recommend you going there. Um, after that, we went to Xfinity. No, we went to Drink Point, which I was a little skeptical about because I thought it was more of like a local place. But no, y'all, that place was lit. It was very nice. The service, the, the I guess they didn't really have bottle girls. They had sections, but they had like... Uh, securities blocking the sections. They were very nice, welcoming. Even some of the, I guess we had bottle boys. The guys bought the um, the drinks out and the juices out. They were very, very nice. They danced with us. They vibe with us. I would definitely recommend um, Drink Point. We're probably gonna go back there again tonight if Xfinity Lounge is not um, Lounge is not lit because that's where we're supposed to be going tonight. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed myself yesterday. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to get up and get breakfast. Um, after breakfast, we were supposed to do yoga today. But like I said, y'all, we is tired. Um, I'm just going to play it by ear because I wanted to go to the beach for a little bit. But mama is tired. Um, we have our yacht tour at 2.30. Um, that's supposed to be a four-hour tour. So like a half-day tour. Um, after that, we literally come back here. We have dinner reservations at, what is that spot called? Jellyfish. Dinner reservations at Jellyfish. And then we're going to Xfinity Lounge. And that pretty much wraps up the trip, y'all. But I'm enjoying Putacana. It just does not give me vacation. Like, I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in Miami right now. I don't know if it's just me. Like, have you ever been to Putacana? Let me know. And maybe because I'm not staying in a resort. Because I know this is a, a resort um, type of place. Mm, the lady just wrote me back for the golf carts. I think I'm going to get it. Who is it? So we're finally 
finally about to get ready and head out for, why is my lighting so poor in here? Let me go in here. We're about to finally go ahead and head out for the first excursion for the day, which is literally just a open boat yacht tour. I believe it's in Marina. Um, I don't know y'all. I'll put the company on the screen that I booked through. And yeah, I am ecstatic. I'm excited. I love me a little, a little boat day. Yesterday was a tease because I got to hop in it's a no day. So today is the day that your girl can get in some water. I can barely swim y'all, but I love water. This is what my makeup is giving. It actually came out cute and all I had was 20 minutes to get ready. And the face is sitting. I pulled my hair up. Hold on, let me flip the camera. So I pulled my hair up in this little bun and then I pulled the curlies down. All right, there we go. One, One two, two, three. of the night excuse the clothes y'all know how i be when you getting ready the shoes are from she in the dress is from pretty little things and i believe i got all the accessories off of she in as well yet again another five minutes well i don't want to say five minutes i basically beat my face in like 20 minutes y'all <laughs> but this is it's not that i don't want Y'all, we just got bonus no chess. Um, y'all, we just got done leaving dinner. We're on our way to uh, where are we going? Xfinity Lounge, or we might go to 444. If y'all can't tell, your girl is drunk. I've been drunk all trip, and that was the goal. Whew, I am tired. The food at Jellyfish was really, really good. I would definitely recommend them. The service was superb. They were very prompt. The drinks were good. Prices weren't too expensive. It's me that went all the way around. <laughs> but we're about to get ready and get in the car now. Hey y'all, so we just got back from the club. Tomorrow we are checking out at, I believe, 8.30, 8.30 or so. I don't know what they about to do, but I'm about to go to bed. 
I'm tired. I think they about to get in the um the jacuzzi, but when I say I'm through, throw it away, throw up to the flow up, I am tired. So I'm about to go ahead and pack my stuff because we got to get up early. I think it's going on like three o'clock now. Oh, child. Puts a kind of one because I'm going to bed. <sighs> But good night, y'all. Bonus, no bonus noches. I will check in with y'all probably in the morning. We're going to go get breakfast, and then we're heading to the airport. And it's a wrap. I really enjoyed Punta Cana, but I don't think I'll be back because I don't know, y'all. You know how some countries you visit once and you got the experience. Like, their food is nice. I got the nightlife, beach life. But I feel like everything they have to do here, I did a little bit of it. Like, I don't know. That's not a place that I would come to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. But yeah, it was cool. Good night. Um, good night. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to take this hair out. This hair is so heavy. I literally just installed it for this trip. Good morning, y'all. Today is the final day. We're getting ready to check out of the villa now. Um, we're going to go get breakfast, and then we're going to head to the airport. I will check in with you guys once I get to Houston, because I have a long, when I say long, a long, unnecessary travel day. I have a, I think, a six-hour layover to Orlando. And then from Orlando, I land in Houston tomorrow, tomorrow morning at like 9 a.m., so I'll probably check in with y'all once I get home. Because as you can see right now, I'm struggling to breathe, talk, hear. Like, literally had two, three hours of sleep at best. So I'll check in with y'all once I land. Even I know you break no good for me. But you feel so good to me. Every time I come back, I try to leave. So how you end up back with me, oh, say what I want, this is something else, even I know you okay. can break your bed, I'm not getting up, you feel so good, Bye. Bye. thank you so much for coming, every time I come back I try to leave, so how you end up back with me, oh, say what I want, this is something else, so we just got done dropping the girls off to the airport and we are done. Oh y'all, I'm tired. I'm tired. Boy still raspy. We're getting ready to drop the rental off and then I'm gonna head back to the airport and I'll probably give y'all a rundown of how the trip went once I get back to Houston. Cause like I said, I got a long flight. I won't be back until tomorrow morning at I think like nine o'clock. So yeah. I will check in with y'all when I'm back in eight. Change of plans, y'all. I know we said that we were gonna go ahead and go to the airport, but we just decided to go ahead and go to the beach because I hate being at the airport. Down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue me. Take me out the club, take me out the trap.